We started by reacting aluminum with hydrochloric acid. Once we put the hydrogen in, um, the reaction started to bubble. The aluminum is going to begin to react with hydrochloric acid. It's going to knock the hydrogens off. Each aluminum is going to grab three of the chlorine atoms and it's going to give off heat. Because we had excess aluminum, not all of it was used in the reaction. She was. It was And then, little by little, where we get the dish? That's why and now the water's starting to boil. This is started. It's starting to fizz. And so what you're going to look at is, is how much aluminum goes away. Where, where does the aluminum go? What happened to the aluminum that's missing after this is all said and done? So it gets so hot that the liquid boils and leaves the aluminum salt behind. Um, there's a reaction between hydrochloric acid and aluminum, which bubbled up and made into a blackish and grayish sludge. We had leftover aluminum, but all the hydrochloric acid was used up. Hey, I'm going to demonstrate the opposite, where we have excessive hydrochloric acid and a very small amount of aluminum. And so I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys. So I'm going to put the aluminum in. We're going to have the same reaction, except now we have an excess of, of hydrochloric acid. Of, yeah. So again, it's going to take um, a little bit of time for the reaction to start. Again, the hydrogen is going to be kicked off by the aluminum. And then the aluminum is uh, going to dissolve into the solution. So can you all see the aluminum now? Yes. So we begin to see the production of gas. So what gas is being produced? <coughs> hydrogen. Because the aluminum is kicking the hydrogen off. And so we end up with aluminum chloride. So what is happening to the aluminum? It's burning away. It's not burning. It's spoiling. It's steaming. The aluminum atoms are going into the liquid. The aluminum atoms are going into the liquid as aluminum chloride. Hydrogen is coming out. And eventually all of the aluminum atoms are gone. They're in solution. So the, the new substance that's formed is aluminum chloride and the aluminum chloride is in solution in the beaker. So the, the aluminum chloride is 
the aluminum is still the aluminum atoms are still there, conservation of matter. The atoms have just now joined with the chlorine. So no longer do we have aluminum foil, but we now have is aluminum chloride in solution, which is the opposite of what we did in the in, uh, other experiment. Is that cool? Yes.